I know you've heard the stories about Canadian families and individuals who have accumulated lots of rental properties and created wealth for themselves, created personal freedom for themselves. And you're wondering, how did they do that? Are they the lucky ones? Did their parents help them out and give them money? Did a dead uncle leave them an inheritance? Were they the ones who got started early? Their time was better, but this time it's not, it's not that good to start now. Maybe you're jealous and even a little angry. And you're thinking, why not me? And where's my opportunity? Well, I'm here to give you that opportunity. Here's a little secret we're gonna talk about. Investors always flock to where financing is the easiest. That's how they got started. You see, I've represented hundreds and hundreds of investors over the last 14 years of doing my work. And I've coached many of them too to build massive portfolios. And they got started using the easiest financing program they could. I did too, personal story. I grew up in a rough neighborhood in Toronto, Jane and Finch. And I'm, I'm not bragging, but sometimes you heard gunshots at night. It was a rough place. I, I tell you, it wasn't, it didn't look like this neighborhood, right? But I didn't have any help. I had to find solutions. I didn't have an opportunity, a chance or time to make excuses. It was solutions only. And I used the government programs for financing to get in the door with the smallest down payment possible. Even better, you can use 10% down payment to get into a triplex. Even better, why wouldn't you do that? You can get into a property much faster, much easier than waiting to save 20 or 25%. And that's how these people, many of them have gotten started and gotten the ball rolling in the game. I'm gonna explain this in a little bit more detail. This is a property we just finished securing for a new buyer who's going to apply the strategy I'm teaching him. This is gonna be his first entry into the market. They're, they're going to pick a side, they live in one side of this duplex and rent out the other. When it's all said and done, one side of the unit is gonna rent for $2,000 plus utilities per month. Their mortgage is gonna be right around the $2,800 mark so his monthly mortgage payment is going to drop by $800. He's going to live in a decent three-bedroom, one, one and a half bath, uh, semi-detached property with a little yard uh, and some street parking. And that's going to be their first entry into the property, into the property market. And when he's done with this property in 12 months or 18 months and they save up enough to get their you know, forever home or a better home for themselves and their families, they'll be able to keep this property and cash flow significantly. So getting their personal property while getting into a rental property all at the same time and all for 5% down. Let's check it out quickly. As you can see here, it's in decent shape. It's not a luxury villa. I'm not saying it's going to be, but it's clean. It's livable. It's functional. It's in a good location. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm sure there are some upgrades that can be done here to make it more personable, to make it more livable, but this is what it is. I'm gonna show you another example right now to prove that this is not a unicorn. There's a financing program from CMHC that allows you to buy your first home using a five or 10% down payment. You probably know about this already, but what you don't want to do is use that program to buy your dream home. That's a massive mistake. The way it needs to be done in our economy today to get ahead is to use that five or 10% down payment to get yourself a duplex or a triplex, two or three units. And you're gonna have to move into the property. Yes, I'm crazy. Call me crazy, I'm crazy. You're going to have to move into the property, maybe for just a year, but you're going to have to move in. You don't have to stay there forever. You can move out after a year if you want to, but you're going to have to move in. Here's how it works. When I bought my first property, it was a duplex. I put as little money down as possible because I didn't have much money. I moved in. We lived in a two bedroom plus den unit, had a little backyard for the dog. Uh, two parking spots and that's it we renovated as best we could 
for the most, the, for, for as much as we could do. And we lived well. And most importantly, our expenses were $238 per month because we had another unit paying us rent. Folks, that's the secret. We stayed there for about 18 months and then during that 18 months, I was able to save up a ton of money with me and my wife working so that we could buy our next property. And then we moved out and then we kept the original duplex and we had our personal home and a duplex in our portfolio. And friends, that is how many of the Canadian stories started. Folks, this is another variation of, the, of a property that works using the same strategy I'm showing you here. This is another duplex in the 500,000 range, by the way, uh, a three bedroom, one and a half bath unit and a one bedroom, one bath sort of apartment style as a duplex, but it still works. Uh, we're working on this. We haven't tied this one up yet. We're working on it. But the idea is that they'll be uh, 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 have the option. It's a single a single male. He'll have the option to move into the bigger unit and have lots of elbow room, have his friends over, have sleepovers, or for financial for financing sake, move into the smaller one bedroom, one bath uh, unit and collect you know probably eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month from the main unit and live in the smaller one. The, the smaller one will rent out for 1200 bucks. So either way, he's gonna have a massive mortgage helper here while having a great rental property where he can live there for a little while, save a bunch of money so he can move up into his dream home or a bigger property of his choice. And take a look at this property. It's not brand new, it is not a luxury villa, but it's clean, it's functional, and it works. And for your first property, this is what you want. 5% down. This will get it done and get you into the game. No excuses. It's all biblical. It looks like magazine-worthy news when you see these people with, oh, I have 10 properties and 12 properties and 10 million and 20 million worth of properties. But I promise you, they all started with one. There's no two-for-one sales in real estate. You start with one. And the vast majority of the time, it's a small down payment that gets you started. That's how it's done. And if you're not willing to make that sacrifice, you know what? I feel sorry for you because you're either going to make solutions or make excuses. And if you're going to make excuses and tell Paul he's crazy, and write it in the comments. I dare you. Write it in the comments. This guy is out of his mind. Please. I, I, I love going back and forth with those people. It's on you. So I'm giving you a solution and we can help you apply that solution also. Go in the description, click the link, download my book. It's going to give you an opportunity to book a call. I'll help you. And I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to take advantage of the program. And if you can, you should. Because it's your entryway into one of the best real estate markets in the world. Yes, it's expensive, but there's a reason why. So while you can, get in there, book a call, and get on this. And if I can't help you, I will refer you to someone who can. I have the mortgage brokers, the lender contacts, all the information you need. And if I can't help you, I will refer you to someone who can. Talk soon.